The culture that has given you so much success and brought you so far will at some point prevent you from taking your company to the next level. You see, there's this interesting pattern that happens in, in virtually every successful startup, regardless of their industry. The business starts with a visionary, the founder, the owner, the entrepreneur, and, and, and a dream. And he or she adds a handful of like-minded operators who get just an enormous amount of work accomplished. Morale is high and stuff is getting done. It may not always be pretty, but oh, it works. And there's this strong and unifying company culture, though that culture is probably not the one written on the walls or t-shirts or, or even your hiring ads. Well, as more and more staff are added, the culture starts to change and infighting and silos, leadership politics and departmental turf wars, they all start popping up and it affects every level of the company from the very top to the front line and even their customers. That once strong culture feels like it's long gone and in its place are a bunch of people who can't seem to work together at all. Many in the old guard are struggling to keep up and many of the new hires, they don't seem to fit in at all. Then some good people who were there at the very beginning, they're either fired or they leave. And if the company stays in this place long enough, the great employees will leave as well. It's not pretty. And I've heard so many business owners lamenting this reality. For them, it feels like they're the only ones dealing with it. For them, they wish they could go back to the way things were. They want their nimble, agile startup culture back. The truth is the very same culture that created so much success is now in many ways the actual root of the problem. And to overcome this problem, you have to be honest about what your real culture currently is. And then, and only then, can you allow it to adapt and expand to take your business to the next level.